Hello, thanks for joining me. And in this video, five card tarot for the sign of Capricorn. I'm working through this in January 2020. My intention for this reading isn't just for January 2020, it's for the whole year ahead. A look at where the energies lie, generally speaking, for Capricorn then. And a five card tarot from my favourite deck at the moment, at least. Tarot in Wonderland, all about Alice in Wonderland. And more importantly, like all these readings, it's all about you, Capricorn. So uh, I'm having a shuffle here and let's see what comes out first in this reading for the sign of Capricorn. And it's the Three of Pentacles. So straight away, we've got Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. So it really is about you, uh, Capri, and it's about that grounded side of you, needing to get grounded. Well, if we look at this tree, it's growing very well, but it's growing in a plant pot. And uh, so it's never going to get above a particular size unless something's done about that. And Alice isn't thinking about that. She's up there looking at the success and success really is indicated in this card. It's only the three of pentacles, but it is all about the rewards of hard work. And uh, when we work in hard at something, it isn't long until we start seeing at least a hint of a reward. So things should be looking pretty good at the moment, Capricorn. If there's uh, no feel-good factor with you, do think again, because there's going to be something positive going on somewhere. I'm sure of it. A beautiful clear blue sky there, or a clearish blue sky. There's plenty of clouds in it, but uh, they're not threatening clouds at all, are they? And uh, a nice turquoisey colour of truth going on about this here. So there's Alice up the ladder, and uh, she's got three pentacles come out already. So that's earth, wind, fire and water working together under the guidance of the divine, even though the, yeah, the pentacles are something that we think of as just an earth sign. They actually are encompassing everything. So be willing to spread your wings, Taurus, and be willing to take a new look at things. You know, it's not just that this tree could do with being planted in the ground. We've got the king there waving his arms about, obviously trying to pass on some information. And uh, since your sun sign is Capricorn, uh, that ought to work for you guys, actually. It should work pretty well. But look around. Is someone offering advice, and are you actually ignoring it at the present time? That's something worth thinking about. We've also got hair in the background there, looking at the plan. And Alice isn't looking at the plan at all. She's getting on with things. She's doing the hard work, and uh, no one can criticise her for that. But just the fact that that tree could do with being planted in the ground shows that there's a bit more going on than we're aware of, Capricorn. So do think about that. It's looking good, though. There's fruit coming on the tree. There's flowers. And there are three pentacles on there already. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it is most definitely starting to work. And when a thing is just starting to work, we do need to, you know, look at it again, really. Just go over what's been happening. Maybe go over what's been going on in recent times. Very recent times, I would say, with the Three of Pentacles. As we've gone through that crazy festive season where everything gets fragmented all over the place. And we end up not doing half the things we wanted to do. Because we've sort of got to do certain other things that we've only got to do at that time of year. Uh, so that's made things a bit ragged. And so has the wild weather that's been going on. Uh, we have actually got Mercury void in Capricorn on the day I'm doing this. And that has been the case for a few days now. And that tends to mean the wind of change blows through. And it knocks things all over the place. So this really is a time of consolidation, Cappy, and uh, anyone else who's watching, actually. And uh, lots of people watch videos so that aren't just the ones for their sign. It's no bad thing to do. Cross-watching, you might say, as long as you don't get cross about it. That's the main thing. Okay, so what's coming up next in this reading for the sign of Capricorn in January 2020 as we look ahead to the changing world and the changing vision of 2020? And it's the Eight of Swords. So at this point, we've got very different energy. We've got air sign energy here. And it is important to take notice of everything. That first Pentacles card was actually all about uh, all the four different elements there. So uh, here we go with the swords. That's Gemini, that's Libra, that's Aquarius. Where's that going on in your birth charts, guys? Or is this a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or 
around you, eh? That's worth thinking about. It really is. So, we've got the character here. The traditional meaning, of course, is shown in full. We've got the character who's tied to some swords and could actually slip away. It wouldn't take too much effort to get away because uh, swords are, you know, long, thin things and she could somehow get that blindfold off. She could wriggle out of the swords at least. Whichever one of those she does will actually begin to set her free and then it'll be a lot easier to get even more free, well, to get fully free, really. But we see playing cards all over this uh, card here and that suggests that there's a game going on. There's more to the situation than we're actually aware of at this point, Capricorn. So do you really want to get away or do you need to kind of play this game a bit longer? That's the question because sometimes, you know, we have to go all around the houses to actually get to where we want to be and uh, Alice looks as if she's quite happy in this situation at the moment can't actually see if she's smiling there or not don't know can you see not sure what that expression on her face is all about but uh, there's magic all over this card so the possibilities are absolutely endless with this especially because of all those playing cards blowing around so in so many ways it's all to play for Capricorn but as you take your next steps forward in this year, it looks like someone at least is trying to blindfold you. And it looks as if you're a bit tied down. After we've been through the festive season, many of us feel tied down because we've been reminded of kind of family commitments and just commitments to things generally that we can't really do anything about except go along with. And uh, now we're in January and now we're going forward into the new year. It's the time to be letting go of the past. So uh, what's happening? That's the question. You'll find out as you go along because all those playing cards scattered everywhere are actually showing that there's something changing all the time. And right at the top of the card here actually is the Ace of Diamonds there. You see it's right at the very top of the card that one. So you know it's aces high. Aces are positive. Aces show that there is a journey ahead because it's a long way to get from the Ace right through to the King. <clears throat> Okay, so here we go then. We'll keep moving forward. You know, change is inevitable at the moment because the whole solar system is moving from one part of the universe into a new part of the universe. Now, where we've been for just about all of our lives, we've been very heavily protected by uh, magnetic fields. And, uh, you know, space, it, it is a vacuum, but it's not just a vacuum. There are other things going on. Well, now the whole solar system is moving into a much less protected part of space. So the energy is going to change a lot. And we're going to be much better able to get on with being ourselves. And that's what we're all put into this world to do, Capricorn, and everybody else. I'm a Sag, and I know it's true of me too. Um, so let's keep shuffling and let's say what is going to be the heart of the matter. What is the middle card in this five card spread for the sign of Capricorn? And it's the Ten of Wands. So if you've been watching my readings, you'll know what this one's all about already. Uh, guinea pig here is not looking a happy chap. And why is that? It's because he's got far too much to do all at once. He wouldn't have any trouble carrying those uh, ten wands on his back. That would be no problem at all for him if that's all he had to do. He probably wouldn't even need to have them tied to his back. But he's had to tie them on because he's also got this big cart of fruit. And uh, looks like a lot of nice things, a lot of sweet, good things in that cart, actually. But uh, it's not making him happy because those sweet, good things are actually for someone else. What's happened is he's become a bit overcommitted. He could have done either of those things one at a time and found it quite easy. But instead, he's got to do everything at once. Now, this is the heart of the matter card in this spread, Cappy. So uh, are you overcommitted? Because that's certainly the case with guinea pig there. What's actually happening? Um, you, you've got to really kind of dig deep and think about that. It's fire sign energy, so it's a lot to do with getting things done. But how much can you get done at once? You know, we can bite off too much. And sometimes we say to someone, oh, I'll help you if you want. And we say to someone else, oh, I'll help you if you want. And they both want help at the same time on the same day. And we've kind of got to do it then. Kind of gets tricky. So uh, maybe you need to do some cord cutting here, Cappy. That could be the thing to do. It's Leo, it's Sagittarius, it's Aries. Those are the fire sign energies that are coming into play here. In fact, I'd say because that is the heart of the matter card, those energies are actually in play at the moment. 
And um, although neither of these things on their own would be a problem, right? We've actually got everything happening at once here, and that is not all that positive at all. We can see in the background there are two big groups of trees, and there's one tree standing out on its own. So maybe this has just been about going with the flow, Cappy. Maybe you've gone with the flow of what everyone else is doing and what everybody else seems to want you to do, and it's just taking you away, away from the ability to manifest your own heart's desire. Now, there's nothing selfish about working on your own heart's desire and what are working on the things you really want, because that is part of the way we are made and we are all sent to this earth with a mission. And uh, we won't actually be anything like as helpful to other people and as valuable to the rest of the world um, as we could be if we don't actually kind of not exactly cut ourselves off, but uh, cut some of those cords that are causing negative pulls that are pulling us in the wrong direction. It's really worth cutting those cords if you need to. And uh, by the way, you know, if you cut a cord and it turns out that you shouldn't really have cut that cord and that cord was actually helping, that cord will grow back as soon as it needs to. So don't fear it, guys. Don't be afraid to cut the cords, okay? If guinea pig cut this cord, all those ones would fall off and that would take all the progress away. But uh, he could certainly do with doing those jobs one at a time. So ration yourself out a bit, Capricorn. Ration your energy out. You really should because um, you're a very positive sign um, and you're very, very good at hanging on to things and making sure that things actually do get done in time. But that time scale can just end up going on forever with all these commitments and you never get time to be yourself. So think about moving on from those, won't you? We'll move on from that card now. And uh, we'll see what is card number four as we move towards the conclusion of this spread for the sign of Capricorn as we begin 2020. Okay, what's coming next? Let's see. And it's the Ten of Cups. Here we are now. This is incredibly positive. And this is what happens if you cut those cords that you need to cut. If you actually reduce the amount that you're having to do for other people and focus on yourself a bit, Capricorn. It's the cups. It's our longings. It's our desires. It's water sign energy. We've gone through all the signs here now. Uh, we've gone through all the elements, at least. Anyway, it's Cancer. It's Scorpio. It's Pisces. Where are those in your birth chart? If you haven't had a birth chart done yet, by the way, do look into it. All the big astrology websites will give you a free birth chart. And uh, it might seem impersonal that that birth chart just comes from a computer-generated system of whatever kind. Um, but actually, you know, your birth chart is a statistical thing. It has all kinds of depths of magical meanings for you. But it can all be expressed as statistics. It's, it's what you make of the statistics that really matters, okay? So, where are those signs in your birth chart? As we look at this cup card, water sign energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or maybe it's people around you. If this is a love reading, is one of those signs important with your lover? Does your lover have one of those signs active in his or her birth chart? That is worth considering because this card is all about love in so many ways. It's also all about success. Now we've got red in the clouds there, which can be a warning, can be a positive sign. That really depends on you. And as I'm always saying, the most important thing about any of these readings is what they actually mean to you, Capricorn and everybody else. But the king and queen, they have great love here. It looks in this card as if all these cups are full, actually. Um, there's a wonderful card by Doreen Virtue in one of our oracle decks where there are 10 cups and that card is called Joy. And we can see the joy palpably here. But, you know, we have to do something to safeguard that joy. We have to be willing to put some work in to make it last. And uh, although those cups are all full, it's quite a big reach to reach up to the top of that wall, get hold of a cup and drink from it, even though there are 10 of them. So there is loads of potential there. There really is. It's a very, very positive card. We've got the knights in the background sort of flying off the ground there, showing that this isn't just a physical thing, you know. This is supernatural energy that's involved in this. And coming back to those red clouds, well, whatever they mean, there's the pink of the higher heart chakra there. So it's everything to do with love connections. It really is. So it's looking positive. I would quite like to have had that in my spread. I didn't have it this time around. I'm a Saggy. But I would love to have that card in my spread because it is so positive. It just, you know, it's a matter of realising that all that positivity doesn't just come from ourselves. It comes first and foremost from our own will and for what, from what we actually want to have, 
who we want to be with, where we want to be going. But it all comes from the divine in the first place because before any of us come to this uh, world, we do actually make a plan up there in the afterlife or the before life, if you want. Um, and then we come to this earth and we have to put that plan into practice. And when true love comes, it is part of the plan. But it is a bit of work to keep it functioning, to keep it going, to keep on making it happen. So now then, let's see what we're going to have for an outcome card in this reading for the sign of Capricorn at the beginning of 2020, in January of 2020. And here we are, it's the Five of Wands. So there are egos involved here. This is a bit of a pointless battle going on. Uh, wherever the flamingos show up in this deck, there is some pointlessness going on, because there's never a real explanation of what the flamingos are about, or sort of where they're coming from, or what they mean. They're just there, crazy birds, wonderful birds actually, very beautiful to look at. But uh, what do they actually do? Well. They have a very valuable life, but it's mostly of value to themselves. So here we go, thinking about the self again. And we've got to think about our own ego as well as other people's. Now, many spiritual teachers will try and get you to say, I have no ego. It doesn't work like that, guys. If you had no ego, you would be dead. Ego is the life force. What really matters is to have a healthy ego. And when this card comes up, it's not just our own ego that needs to be healthy. There are other egos involved and we need to treat them kindly and deal with them in a helpful way. Because really big-headed people who are on about how great they are all the time do that simply because deep inside themselves, in their inner core, in, in their inner being, they think they're rubbish or they think they're not good enough or something along those lines. But there is definitely always self-loathing there when someone is claiming to be much better than you or much better than everyone or to be a, a top expert. You know, you can be an expert, but people who really are an expert don't tend to spend a lot of time crowing about it and saying how good they are. Now, there's a bit of a battle coming in here. This is an outcome card, so this really is about the way forward through 2020, and egos are going to be an issue, Capricorn. So you need, to, you need to know that your own ego is reasonably healthy, okay? So don't be afraid to do the hermit thing. I haven't pulled the hermit card at all, but don't be afraid to do that hermit thing and look inside yourself from time to time. Actually, the second card in the spread here, the Eight of Swords, that would be no, time, no bad time to go into yourself and think about about things a bit. I can see where this one was leading to now. Um, because we have all got, got all these playing cards here showing that things can change and things can be shuffled around a bit to get the best possible outcome. And uh, to cut yourself free from those swords, I really would do that hermit thing. Think about yourself. I'll say it again, there's nothing, nothing selfish about thinking about yourself. Yourself is important. Uh, many of the leading world belief systems, religions, faiths, whatever, will actually talk about the self. It needs to be healthy. It's where the ego lives, and that's why the ego needs to be healthy as well. So there's our outcome card, Cappy. There's a bit of a battle ahead of us. There usually is. I wouldn't worry about that. There's a battle ahead of us. Uh, for everyone. Someone once said to me, because I, um, I, I'm very lucky really, I had quite a severe disability many years ago and it's just not very severe, it doesn't really bother me anymore now, I'm, I'm really happy to say that. Uh, but when I was first going through it, I belonged to a Christian church and uh, the priest's wife said to me, that must be quite a challenge. And I said to her, well, thank you. You know, everything in the Christian life is always going to be a challenge. That was my Christian view. Um, I've moved on from there, obviously. Um, but it's certainly a challenge having any kind of spiritual life. But it's a worthwhile challenge because it actually gets you much more in control of yourself and in control of your life. Because spirituality is playing into our lives all the time. I'm a medium. I believe in the spirit world. I believe in our ancestors working with us. They always do and they always will. Uh, but even if you don't see it that way, the cosmic influences, everything about a tarot reading has to do with those cosmic influences playing in. It has everything to do with us as well, because the two things are absolutely, uh, genuinely and very closely linked together. Mm. OK, well, I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Thanks very much for watching. That's where it looks as if we're going in January 2020. And that looks as if it's setting the scene for the rest of a busy year of change. But this is the real nice one. Looks like things in matters of love are going to be pretty good 
It really does. Just remember this for, I remember all of them really. Go back and watch the video again if you've forgotten any. But this is the thing to do. This is the heart of the matter. Taking on too much. We might be going to be asked to take on too much. We might have taken on a bit too much already. And even if none of the people are actually asking you to do too much, just for them, just in that, for that, in that one instance of it, remember that when you commit yourself to a number of things, they can all come up at once and it can all get quite difficult. So don't be afraid to cut those cords, guys. So important. Meanwhile, thumbs up, please, if you've enjoyed this reading. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to receive all notifications so you don't miss anything because I'm always coming back with more readings. Uh, I've just gone over the 600 readings mark. So there's six, sorry, the 600 YouTube videos mark on my channel. So... Uh, do subscribe, check out my channel, okay? If you're drawn to any of the readings on there, it is actually for you. I'm here just about every day doing an astrology breakdown of what's actually happening in the day. And I'm going to be keeping on doing these tarot readings by star sign because that's what I love to do. So keep it real. Keep it twig, brother. Leave me a comment so we can share that journey. And uh, let me know what you think, guys, so I can make things that bit more relevant. It's great to know who I'm talking to. Tell me a bit about yourself. It's always good to know. Whatever. But Capricorn, thanks again very much indeed. Have a fantastic January, have a fantastic rest of the year, and I'll be along soon with more videos. Peace.